Good afternoon, Houston. This is attorney Anthony Push from the Push and Win Law Firm wishing you all a safe drive home. But in the event you do get involved in an accident, you know who to call. 833-PUSH-WIN. We push, you win. 104.1 KRBE. Let's get started. It's the Rula and Ryan Show. Wake up, fool! Hey, wake up! It's about to get all stupid up in here! Right here! Featuring <laughs> Eric. Eric? He is a bad, bad man! Special K. The big red K. Are you threatening me? I'm waiting for you. And Sam. Oh, I am a wife! I am a wife! You've waited long enough. How the heck do you pronounce this woman's name? Rula. <laughs> And Ding Dong Ryan 104.1 KRB. Good, Good morning, morning everybody. Houston, Texas. It's Tuesday, June 27th of 2023 at 6 03 a.m. with Rula Ryan, Eric Special K, Sam, Ahmad, mm-hmm. and Bring Your Daughter to Work Day. Wow. My oldest is here, Alexandra is here. Hi, say hi. 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 Hey. She's like, Mommy, please don't leave me. Make sure you wake me up. I'm going to come to work with you. Please don't Are leave me. Are you crazy? No, it's summertime. Summer Don't you want to sleep in? No. <laughs> now, anyway, it's uh, Tuesday, day number two, second Monday of the week, getting closer to that Fourth of July. Few days off that yeah. people may have had planned, um, and I, uh, you know, continue on with the summer of 2023. A chance to win ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars at the end of the summer. Somebody's gonna get ten grand. It's the summer of 2023, and we give you a chance to score a really awesome Fourth of July prize pack for today at eight twenty. It's a hundred dollar gift card. A hundred, I mean, to Kroger, a hundred dollar gift card to Top Dog Fireworks, and then you get a charcoal grill. This is like the ultimate Fourth of July package. Yeah. <laughs> to you, Alexandra. Can you put do that the headphones and... on so she can. Oh, hear. Yeah, I know. I don't have any extra headphones for her. <laughs> she has no idea. Just... <laughs> Did I'll you find guys you some see headphones. the uh, the ten worst airports came out? Yes. Summer Tell us. Tra- travel dis- look. Tell me which one. Disruptions. Well, up to how well, how high do we rank? Or oh, do we we're not? up there. Number two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The only one worse is Las Wait, which Vegas. Which one's number two? A Bush yeah. or a hobby? Bush. 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 Okay. What's number one? Vegas. Las Vegas. So, what's the uh, criteria the to make you a terrible airport? Because it's so busy? Yep. Hold on. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I've been to worse airports than yeah, Vegas. but getting in and out with all the construction that they've been doing. This is endlessly. disruptions. This isn't, yeah. uh, you know, like clean, cleanliness. Oh. Yeah. You know, how much food you can get type stuff. It's all about. Your plane's disrupted. Okay. Your time's yeah, late. The chances of, okay. Maybe um, storms and stuff. Like, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. like a boss, wasn't she supposed to get in on Sunday at 8.30? And yeah. she got in like yes. 6 a.m.? <laughs> she got in there yeah, 6 a.m. yesterday. That's crazy. However, but I feel like it hasn't stormed very much. Yeah, the storms you can't control that, though. I think it makes you a worse airport. Like, a worse airport would be the customer service-wise, but if you can't control the weather, you can't control the weather. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm thinking as far as, like, what sucks the most is missing a flight, especially if you've got a connecting flight. It costs you time. It costs you money. Right, but again, it's at the mercy of Mother Nature. We can't. This is based on where we live. Help. We, we have a lot of problems. We have a lot of storms. Happen. When it comes to flights delayed, Vegas is thirty four point six percent. We have thirty one point seven. That's wow. not good. And then Denver's after us, twenty nine point six. And then there were two more Texas entries too: Love Field and uh, DFW. Which sucks for them because that's both their their eight. That's and nine. their hobby and their bush. Yeah. yeah, both of them. Both their airports were in the top ten. Yeah, so that's eight not good nine. either. No. <laughs> Well, I just hope for easy travels for whoever has to catch a flight here and there and everywhere. I'm still trying to decide. Uh, we have a, to go to Dallas in August for a radio conference. Just like, drive. Drive, fly, bus. I'm uh, going to drive because think I'm, about it. I'm talking about driving. You've got to be it, faster. Okay. Hours. It's, it's, it's honestly probably quicker to drive because you don't have to get there an hour before your flight. You don't have to sit in the airport yeah. waiting you know for your plane to take off. Between here and Dallas, if there's one... S- Cloud. Yeah. Oh. oh my God, you're right. Oh, that's guys. Right. Oh, of 50 all, minutes. Stop. Stop. Of all the flights I have taken around the world, around this globe, the only time I got so scared I thought, oh my God, this is it, was a flight from Houston to Dallas. Mm-hmm. It was what, 45 minutes? It was pure terror. This weather was so bad. And what made it worse was there was a child that was probably around six or seven years old, about two rows behind me, and she kept yelling out loud, 
oh no, are we gonna die? Like oh, she kept that's yelling. Nerve wracking. <laughs> and I kept trying to like just be like have my wits about me because I'm a oh seasoned traveler. Uh-huh. But I was thinking this poor child is making somebody about to go run to the door and or try and open it. Yeah. Because I'm a seasoned traveler that has like my wits about me. Like okay, even she's making me nervous. I was waiting to hear somebody scream. Like get your child to stop talking because it was so bad. I just felt like there was a giant. I felt like we were being we were the ball. Like, God's playing handball, and we were the ball. I just, it was the craziest flight. We took dips. We came back up. It was just really rough. We, he tried to climb to get us higher. We kept dipping down. I was like, oh, God, this is how it's going to end. Houston to Dallas? The worst is when people yeah, scream. They're going to Greece. Right. Mm-hmm. Not going like, to France. Not have you ever been Australia? on a flight where you hit a lot of turbulence and people start screaming on the plane? That is very unnerving. That was our flight to Bahamas Air, right? Yeah. We're crossing oh, God. themselves. Oh, God. Oh, God. The name of the oh, Father, Lord, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus. So That's that. exactly what happened. You mentioned that, uh, Kevin, Sam. Huh? How yeah, are you, how you getting like, to uh, Dallas? We're flying. Really? Because yeah. you've got an hour to get there before the airport. Okay. Okay. When you get out of DFW, you've got an hour to travel to our it's fine. destination. Have some cocktails in the airport. I love Southwest Points. I'm going to go ahead and take those. Plus, yeah, yeah, so this truck ain't going to make it there and back. No. Yeah. No, absolutely yeah, not. I would Kev never would make drive myself. Me drive. I would. would and I don't want to drive. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's silly to drive. I mean, to fly. Big Bertha would not have made it. Big Bertha still can make it. We'll make it. We can make it. No problem. Yeah, but Story's I noticed brand new. I got a light like out in my. Like a headlight? I don't think it's a headlight. It's like on the dashboard? Maybe like a fog light. Like a. Mm. It's in the front of the Jeep. Oh. The bottom? An actual light. Yeah, it's the bottom. Oh. Get mm. that. Turn yeah, on check that. Look I dropped Santi off at the daycare, and I'm like, "Why is this one side looks so bright, and the other side's like not?" Uh-oh. I'm like, "Oh well, mm. that know. explains it." Well, so, need more headlight fluid. <laughs> headlight fluid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who fell for that? <laughs> that was a classic. Was that ruler? That's a classic mod? prank call for a mod. Right? A mod fell a mod, for it. Yeah, definitely not me. We had him in oh. here. I've done that one for a long time. Yeah. Headlight fluid. Headlight That's fluid. Okay. Other <laughs> fluids of the car I might fall for. Yeah, I, I, I do not like driving long distances. So oh, I, it's not bad. You, you and Sam doing music. a road trip together? Oh, we've done it. Fun. Oh, we have done it. It's, oh, yeah. It's great. We've, we've had that experience with it's each other. so much fun. With Did y'all drive to, uh, car <laughs> drive to <laughs> Fredericksburg crazy. together? Uh, no, but Kev did meet me there. But we mm-hmm. went to Austin together. We've gone. Yeah, Dallas driving to Austin is, not, is like Dallas is only an extra hour driving. Right. No, well, I'd still say if you I mean depending. Galveston and also floating the river. Yeah, we've got we've got a lot of adventures on our belt. So we like to enjoy a beverage and um, this a mama bit- needs a break. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you know the company's picking up the line. flight. That's it, why you're doing it. <laughs> well, yeah, I would. I would too. They pick because, up your gas yeah. or the, your right, your yeah. executive limo. So executive <laughs> limo. Well, yeah, I could take a limo as long as you go to a certain budget. Yeah. Oh, that really? would be cool. I think, a, I think a limo that, to Dallas would cost you a little bit more than an airline we'll ticket. Take one of those, um, one of those Mercedes uh, Sprinters. Yeah. Get one that's all built out. Oh, that's a bathroom. I'm good. Yeah, it has a bathroom in there. Take a private Sprinter. Looks with like a drive the Sprinter. Then I'm, you want to drive it? Yeah, because then I just can drive and I don't have to think about. No. If I'm sitting there. I don't like that. What the heck? Being a passenger, you're more yeah. propen- uh, pro. Uh, There's a higher propensity for you to poop being a passenger. Yes. Yeah, oh if I'm my driving. Gosh. I don't, I'm not too busy trying to think ahead driving. Yeah, when you're driving, you're on a mission. Yeah, when you're just I mean, there. I think I would, if I if I was given the choice, which I am given the choice, I still have decided. I, I would probably fly because I don't want to get caught by a Corsican, a cop that I'd forget about. And then you just know that ticket. when you're getting towards Because the company's not picking up the ticket fee. No, That's you true. slow down your, you know, Can't get, can't get a ticket Canada. on a flight. Ways, right. The That's ways true. on, ways tells you. Yep. Meh. Nah. I was thinking there's somebody in there just putting fake cops, putting stuff in there. No, if you, you if you down? if you start getting like a bad, you know, because you get a rating as well too, with ways. Oh, you do. Yeah. You know, oh, uh, Black you, Mirror, people you are rating you bad. You don't want to put in like fraudulent information. <laughs> Has anyone seen this new season of Black Mirror, the first episode I'm with the girl watch from? Uh, what's that Creek show you guys watch? Oh, Schlitz. Schlitz. Skids Creek. Yeah, I can't say the name. I guess yeah. Skids Creek. Yeah, she's in it. It's really that's. Annie from I mean, Alexis this. from Skits Creek. Alexis. Alexis. Yeah, her, yeah. I'm a little bit Alexis. I wasn't used to that. It was her because of a different voice. Mm. Oh, I love black oh, hair. Oh, yeah. She's not as ditzy. Yeah. Coming up next in Celebrity Scoop, I have uh, seen a lot of things in the years of entertainment stories of people being in concert and having things thrown at them. Mm-hmm. I mean, didn't BB Rex just get hit with a cell phone in the face? Hey, last try Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Honey buns. Honey buns. Honey buns, buns. Honey buns. That was not Years fun. ago, Justin Bieber was uh, hit by a water bottle in the head. And he's like, ow, that didn't feel good. And he kept going because he was just new. 
<laughs> you should probably stop for a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, some people throw loving things like, here's a teddy bear, some flowers. Pink is coming to Houston. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if she'll talk about what just happened to her on stage the other day. We'll talk about it in Scoop. Here's your weather for today. Okay, so we have an excessive heat warning. That is in effect till 9 p.m. Pretty much going to be like that every day of the week. High of 102 today, but that heat index is going to make it feel like it's way over 110 degrees. Right now, it's already 81 degrees and 612 on the Rule and Ryan Show. I'm pleased to introduce Rule and Ryan's Celebrity Scoop on KRBE. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the summer of 2023. Uh, don't forget, at 820 this morning, a chance for you to score a 4th of July prize pack. They'll make you a finalist for $10,000 at nice. the end of the summer. Somebody's going to win that ten grand. Uh, we do this three times a day, 820, 120, and 520. Again, if you missed it, just waking up, just getting yourself together. It's a $100 Kroger gift card, a $100 gift certificate for Top Dog Fireworks, and a charcoal grill. That's like the ultimate 4th of July yeah, package yeah. right there. You get the fireworks, you get the grilling, and... All you need is some hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. dogs. Hot the hot dogs. dogs. Hot dogs, hot dogs on the grill. Costco hot dogs. I'm telling you, get those people. Eric loves them. There's a thing about them They're coming back or something, beef, or have they always been back, or... Good. And it looks like... Uh, You're talking about the ones that are like the 25 pack. It comes in a pack. Like, it looks like you got an M60 machine gun and you got it like loaded in there. Wow. You, hold, you know how you hold it? You hold it over your arms, all those bullets you, you see the movies. Yeah. Now, Rainbow. when you grill, do you ever like butterfly them? <laughs> not on a grill. No? Then the juice will just go right That's out. That's a I'm good not idea. Into, I'm not but into I grill. haven't done it. It does it dry them out on the pan, grill. I've done that where you cut them. Yeah. Like, not all the way. And then you can, yeah. you can fry both sides. A little butter in the pan. Cut them and boil them. Ooh, wet... Wieners, no. Mm. My mom used to boil hot dogs when we were kids. Yeah, Yeah, I don't know why. Hot dogs. That's how I was raised. The water. You boil them on the pot on the stove. That's a good torture. What? Drink the boiled hot dog water. Boiled hot dog water. That's torture Tuesday, not try Tuesday. (laughs) He'd probably probably like it. (laughs) This reminds me of home. Um, Okay, let's get to this. Pink is going to be here, and she puts on an amazing show. If you've never seen Pink, this girl. Acrobatics. She, uh, what are those things called? Like the scarves? The silks. The silks. Where she'll propel herself all the way to the roof. Yes. It's amazing. She was at Hyde Park in London on her tour, and while she was singing Just Like a Pill, the Ziploc bag gets thrown on stage. Uh Uh-oh. And What's, she's in the middle of singing. It's in the bag. And the story, if you don't see the video, it sounds like way more involved. Mm-hmm. But the video is so like, un, un um, what's the word? Uh, un, not unassuming. It's just not not as focused as you think. It's like the bag goes up on stage. She's singing just like a pill, and she holds it up and she goes, "What? This is your mom? Oh, I don't know how I feel about that." Oh, they were ashes. It was the ashes of the oh. fan's mother. Just in a Ziploc, oh, like a small amount of the ashes. Here. And she puts them in front Mommy of the Mommy made it on stage. And she just keeps singing. She doesn't talk about it. She doesn't talk to the person. She just oh. keeps on singing just okay. like a pill. It's probably bad timing. <laughs> like, you got you to gotta do it when there's a break. Yeah, when yeah. she's actually talking. Like if she's already yeah. in the song. She's got choreography. She's got dancers. She can't, whatever yeah. she has. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. I used That's to work for the Cubs mm-hmm. uh, for security. People would try and take their ashes of their loved ones that love the Cubs it. and sprinkle them of the ivy. Oh, yeah. Where's the ivy in the, uh, that over, ballpark? It's over running against the wall. The and wall the and outfield. Okay. It grows. It's really beautiful, but then people throw that. I've had people try and throw weed. Try to grow seeds. like pot yeah. seeds. That, <laughs> oh, we'll grow some weed in the ivy. <laughs> so stupid. But I mean, I've seen concerts where people throw all sorts. Of, I was at a Kiss concert. Somebody threw a prosthetic leg on stage, and I'm like, aren't you going to need that to get out of here? Sam Lambert, I heard he was on a, a friend Elvis Duran's show, and he was talking about how when he was doing American Idol tour. Mm-hmm. Brian went to that tour. Yeah. I took faith to go see that tour. Someone threw a big old rubber toy. Oh. On the center. Wow. And they hit him in the <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no. They hit him in the head? Yeah. He's, he's just sitting there going, what the heck is that? Yeah. What is that doing at an American Idol concert? <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> um, other odd requests or things that have happened when it comes to the funeral topic. There were There's a story about the unusual funeral requests of celebrities. Hmm. Do y'all know that when Carrie Fisher died, Princess Leia from Star Wars? Oh, I know this, yeah. What is it, Ryan? Uh, Tell us. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> she had some strange Let's just requests. see if you know the same thing that's on the list. What is it? She wanted to be in a Prozac pill. Correct. Her ashes are in an urn shaped like a Prozac pill. I guess I that, that really was important for her. I didn't want to keep I want to keep the flow going. I'm sorry. That's why I did. Please okay, go. Okay, how about this one? <laughs> 
future. Aretha Aretha Franklin. (laughs) If you remember when Aretha Franklin passed away. I thought you said Ben Franklin for a second. No, Aretha (laughs) Franklin. What did he do? I remember when Aretha Franklin passed away. It's the first time I was like, wow, wait a second. Hold on. She looks different now. She had four costume changes in the casket. Nuh-uh. Yes, she did. That's awesome. Her funeral went on for so long, Sam. Every time CNN was talking about Aretha's funeral and they would show like the, like the, not the aerial, it's not really aerial, but it's a more yeah, yeah, yeah. distant yeah. shot. Yeah. It was different. She had four different outfits with the shoes. They were showing the shoes. Wow. The whole casket was open, not just the top half. That could not Diva. be a fun job. That yeah. Think about it. If that's your job, you got to get the corpse out of the box and redress her. Four outfit changes, three viewings, and then the funeral. Well, you know, what a good drag queen does is you just keep that smaller outfit on underneath and you do the reveal. Oh, yeah. What you a keep good peeling idea, off the layers. Kevin. Mm-hmm, the it's reveal. not like she's going to be sweating. It's not really easy to peel mm-hmm. off the layers from someone who's deceased. But Elizabeth Taylor, diva, wanted to be fashionably late to her own service. <laughs> so inconvenient to your so mourners. So she was brought in 15 minutes after the announced start time. Fashionably late. Uh, let's see. Inconsiderate. Um, That's rude. It's, it's not That's rude. Funny. She's yeah. deceased. Let her. She be can do her. whatever she wants. Right. Eric. These people took the time off yeah. the other day to be there for you. To well, I think most of the people that are going to Liz Taylor's funeral are not working a nine to five job. They're probably all like rich old famous people. Well, they could well, be even young famous people. Nephews and cousins. And- right. Everybody has family. Luke Perry. Who, it's so sad that he passed away. It's yeah, almost that- like you forget he passed away. That was like, a weird oh yeah, one. he passed yeah. away from a stroke. Um, he wanted to be eco-friendly, so he was asked to be buried in a mushroom burial suit. I don't even know what that is. Made so some of kind of biodegradable thing, or is it in the shape of a mushroom, like a Super Mario Brothers character? I think <laughs> Ryan's probably closer to now, it. Now there are green funerals. Where I've looked into this where you can actually be buried in like a wicker basket. They don't embalm you or do put chemicals where it's not going to poison the ground, and. They bury you in that, and you just decompose into the ground. Or people can have a tree planted on top of you. They'll put a seed, like a tree, in you know your body, Most and then a tree, gr- a tree grows out of you. I you had boxes, tree. but not like ours. I had to do my. Well, I didn't have to, but I did my will and trust and all that stuff. And you can mm-hmm. get into detail, and that's what I have asked for: to have is a tree to wrap, on you? The, yeah, wrap around the tree or at sea. Would be cool. I think it would be best for you. Yeah, yeah, just get yeah. snacked on by go little like, crab babies. Go like a yeah. really expensive cruise liner and have like a whole special case ceremony. Oh, my God. Have them drop me yeah, off the back of the Royal the Caribbean. The problem is when you're trying to be eco-friendly, it is, cool, unfortunately, like this time in our history, very expensive to do. You know, a lot of them, like the whole tree thing, mm-hmm. it's expensive. A lot of people just go the cremation route, which is not good for the environment. Kevin's mm-hmm. frugal, and he, all of a sudden he dies, and all, everyone else Someone gets to enjoy. Someone has to pay for it. They oh, get no. enjoy an awesome cruise ship that he would They'd be loving. Be like, oh, I have, no. I, of course, I have life insurance as well. Mm, yeah, they're going to enjoy it. They're going to take, you'll be like, why did I get to go on that? That's true. Who's getting the big policy? It's got to be your husband, right? I, yeah. Oh, that's he's, a personal question. Or I, it's I, me. I wanted to find out. <laughs> if, if any of us are getting a cut, maybe so we'll speed up his uh, go look yeah. that up. If Kev <laughs> goes missing, you know why. Yeah, if Sam's on the list, <laughs> they drive together or something. I always wanted everybody, if I died in high school, I always wanted everybody to wear tie-dye to my funeral. Like a hippie shirt. As yeah. a high school kid. Yes. If something unfortunately she meant She tied died. Cause- <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think like that. <laughs> I just yeah, thought that tie-dye would be so much fun. You put a hacky nerds. sack around the coffin? Yes, what are they going to exactly. do? Hacky, <laughs> they want you stuffed in a hacky fish? sack? No, I wouldn't want to be hacky. She wanted tie-dye. I just like, wanted everybody to wear tie-dye because I just love tie-dye. Do you like fish or Do you still dead? love tie-dye? I, uh, I put Santi in so much tie-dye. I do you make it yourself? I love tie-dye. I haven't yet. It's a good summer activity for kids. That's a bucket list item I've never tried. You what, never want a tie-dye? tie-dye? You gotta make one. It oh is my God. so much fun. My 12-year-old is, it, is, it like, is Alexander, it like, how many times have we done is this? Is it like making Easter eggs? Yes. No, uh, how many times have we done tie-dye t-shirts like over the summertime? So many times. Yeah, a lot of times. How Can many, you put it on a spinner? No, you, how do you do it? Tell everybody how you do it. Tell a little louder. You the, you put like the clothes in a pattern and then you put the dye on. Mm-hmm. But then you have to, how do you make the you pattern have, stick? You have to put rubber bands around. Rubber too. bands, y'all. How long do you have to keep it in this juice? 24 it, hours, I think. Yeah. There's all these different tie dye kits, and so you, you have just tie all the shirt these in a bunch of You gotta knots. wear gloves, obviously. Yeah. You wear, you so use tie bands. the shirt in, okay. certain, in a certain pattern. Yes. In the rubber bands first. Yes. And then you you use the paint color you want in uh, each little section of the rubber band. Mm-hmm. So then 
then you just cross your fingers and hope it was right. Right, exactly. Because when you open it, you're like, okay, wait, did I get a swirl or what did I get? Yeah. And it looks like gunshot wounds everywhere. <laughs> so do y'all like use like maybe an old t-shirt that's got a stain on it or something? No, you buy a white t-shirt from yeah. like Hobby Lobby Like I did beach towels. Yeah. You know, everything. Hair. Yeah. Ooh. A bathing suit, that one did not last Bathing suits, I don't mm. think, will hold the color because the fabric. Not. It did not. So does it start? Totally. Tear it apart, falls apart? It, that was a mess. No, there are some t-shirts where you're like, well, that was a waste. Like uh, my son was six. I think MJ was six the first yeah. time we did it, right? No, no, no. Oleni one time did one, and it was all brown. It was <laughs> all brown. Yeah, because you all have the colors to like, separate into the each colors, other. and they merge. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> skill behind saying, it. I don't want to wear this <laughs> one. I look like a UPS driver. <laughs> <I know>. Yeah. <laughs> now, have you ever done this where you, I remember being a teenager, and I always wanted a pair of white jeans, so I took my jeans, and I poured a ton of Clorox on them, to try bleach and bleach them, them out. The problem is, you put them on, and all of a sudden they become paper thin, and they tear really yeah, easy. Yeah, because you have to dilute that. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. What? Sixteen years old. Or wash it off immediately. You didn't want to buy white jeans? No, I mean we didn't have a lot of money, and I was just like, oh, you're gonna ruin your jeans. Well, I had an old pair. You know, I had a little tear. Now you pay big money for them. They're called distressed. Yeah, my parents but, used to put yeah. patches on the yeah. the holes. Now mm. we pay extra that for terrible. that. Terrible patches. It's patches. <laughs> People are uh, rapping about the cremation stuff, Ryan. You hit a nerve. What? Oh, I know. Look, I'm cre- griping about cremation being no, bad for the environment. I'm not griping. I the mean, next breath, he loves barbecuing for his family. No, no, no. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I, my dad wanted to be cremated. I cremated my father. But I'm just saying it is the fact that people like 25 years ago, only a small percentage of the people were doing cremation. Now, a majority of people are doing it because it's just so much more cost efficient. I know we're doing roundtable next. Wait till you hear what is possibly going to happen in New York City. Mm-hmm. Because of New this, York this world, City, you know how they uh, they want to get rid of something that is like when you think of New York, you think of this item and what these politicians want to do to New York. I'm not a big New York fan, but yeah. I think this is ridiculous what they're going to try and do to New York City because of this culture of they want to the environment and stuff. Hmm. All right, well, let's hear it. And Very I'm all for the environment, but for this one, there's no way on earth this should happen. Okay, let's talk about it next on the Rule and Ryan Show. New York is, when it comes to something, what, what, what do you guys think of New York? What, what are they Statue famous of for? Liberty, Pizza. Empire State Building. Pizza. Pizza. There you go, pizza. Pizza. Oh. People, what, when they go there, what do they want to do? They ask people what? Where's the best place to get a yeah, pizza? Yeah, let's get pizza. some pizza. Raise pizza. Yeah, well, no, not raise pizza. The New York City Department of Environmental Protection wants to get rid of oven, wood oven stoves and coal oven stoves. For, so pizza parlors have to get rid of these. You mean like the, the, like the, the way they do these... the Neapolitan, not the Neapolitan, what is it? The um, yeah, I think it's the Neapolitan yeah. pizza. Is the very thin, it's like yeah. 90 seconds in the in that fire These things have oven. been around in some of these places. That's why their pizza is so good. It's over, right. uh, some of them are 100 years old. And let and me tell you what, I'm going to back you up on this factoid. Let me, t- let me back up Eric on this factoid because like I told y'all, I watched the dumbest things. It was about the pizza wars. And they said that in New York on the East Coast, Domino's and Pizza Hut almost flopped because there were so many Italians that came here in the 1800s and they settled in the New York and the Eastern Seaboard that they built these ovens yep. and they knew real pizza. The water so when Domino's used. and all that came in, they're like, what the hell is this? It's not real Italian pizza. And it almost, it totally flopped on the East Coast. It was almost not going to happen. Well, they, they want to reduce the emissions by 75% and mm-hmm. it's anything from 2016 till 1800s, you know, whatever they have. I'm we'll sure it has put nothing to there. do with the 10 million cars on Manhattan Island. That's what I'm like. But I mean, <laughs> right. So this is really going to bother, you know, affect uh, like 100 places. But there's 100 small businesses that small people businesses. go there to try these pizzas. There's a guy that got so mad, he was in front of City Hall, and here's what he had to say. Let's you heard it. of the Boston Tea Party? Well, this is the Boston, P- New York. This is the New York <laughs> Pizza Party. Give us pizza or give us death. Give us pizza <laughs> he picked up a big pizza. Uh-huh. And he's throwing it over the fence. It's a beautiful pizza too. And he oh. hit five of them, five oh beautiful gosh. pies. And he's throwing them over the fence. He got a summons. Oh no! Game. But uh, he's like, I can't take it anymore. But I'm like, <laughs> come on. And, the, and well, who would do that as a politician? Grandfathered in. It should be grandfathered in because if some of these immigrants came here like in the early 1900s and they, you know, like you said, there's some of these pizza ovens like 100 years old. That should be grandfathered in. But the problem is, if you go to New York right now, I mean, I I went to New York a lot in the last couple years, and it's really losing that mom and pop feel. It's like a giant. It's like every other part of America. You go to Times Square, and it's like nothing. Well, Times Square is totally. Times Square is not supposed to be. I understand. People go there to get. You can't afford to be mom and pop. It's forever twenty one. It's Sephora. It's all that stuff. Yeah. 
But I mean, I'm talking about real New York. Even yeah. even in some of uh, like a lot of the mom and pop delis and everything are gone. And imagine it sucks. I was just there on Tuesday and Wednesday, and the only place I ate was mom and pops. Yeah. yeah. Right around the corner from Grand Central Station where I was staying, boom, there was Appetini. Imagine if we banned barbecue in Texas Patsies. or the cheesesteaks in Philly. Mm-hmm. Just pizza in New York. Kind of they're not, they're yeah, not banning pizza. They're just banning the, some of the, the technique of how to make the pizza. But they're banning what people go there for. Like, Pollutionary machines. Hey, while we're talking about food, machines. we actually had a listener that do something I think we've all wanted to try at some point or another. With the heat, and heat index is supposed to be 100. Since our cars are apparently pizza ovens now. 110 degrees. <laughs> oh, I've seen the meme on Instagram where somebody put a cookie sheet in the back of their car and they bake cookies in their car. That's why the news does that every year. Yeah, they do that. Well, we actually had a listener that actually pulled off this experiment. Hey guys, my name's Russell. Uh, my wife and I are longtime listeners since 2008. So we own a power washing company and we were cleaning some tennis courts in our neighborhood in Cinco Ranch this week in Katy and it was so hot, I actually cooked an egg on the tennis court and I ate it. It was good. It worked <laughs> with Katy Brothers pressure washing. Oh, <laughs> threw a little a nice plug, plug at the end. <laughs> nice. Hey, I couldn't okay, cut now, out I have plug. to say, Obviously if you washed it first, if, yeah, yeah. If you've got your, I'd like to know what kind of plate or metal pan I get. He must have put it on a metal pan. I, I think he put it right on the. I think he put it right on the cord. And he ate it off the cord. Yes, I think he blasted Ew. it, let it dry, and then let it cook. Probably on the let it cook after that. Yeah. Well, Hopefully. any one of us, if if we go downstairs, eggs a little gravelly. Let's say it's like That's noon so gross. and you don't have any kind of shade in your windshield and you get in your car, it's so stinking hot, right? I can see if you left something on the dash, like in front of the windshield, probably like a um, ready-made Pillsbury cookie dough type thing would we do for cook try, there enough. Try Tuesday, go put in Sam's Stormy. Yeah, I'm We're sure that's going to smell good. But it will happen by 8 a.m. <laughs> it has to happen that's like in the detail. afternoon. Come on. You can do that in your Instagram live. If we live, do Eric. it, I was going to say, if we do it in my car, then that means you have to pay for my car to get detailed. Afterwards. But are you going to bake cookies in your car? Or are you going to do an egg? I'll do cookies. Yeah, don't do an egg. That if you smell. get Egg's my car stink. detailed afterwards. A cookies, you have a yummy cookie smell. Yeah. Yummy Who doesn't like the smell of chocolate chip cookies? But yours is positioned, I think, right? That's She's it. sitting right in the sun, ready to sun, bake. So, yeah, you got that little tin foil <laughs> yeah. thing in front of it. I I didn't put that up today. Oh. You could actually put the tinfoil thing on the dash and then put the cookies on top of the tinfoil thing, and that'll help it cook more. And it's on on slant, on tilt. They'd slide down and off. Yeah. It's also, tight. my dashboard is, like, maybe six inches. Oh. Uh, that's a tight one. It's Did you have to put tight. oil, like, down on, or butter or anything on that uh, tennis court when he puts the egg, or does he put the egg straight yeah, on? You, don't you, you get yeah, a little put it straight stick. on. You can put a little, a little stick right problem to, there, you know. Well, it'll, I mean, for his purposes, I'm sure he uh, didn't yeah. mind. Yeah, he could just power wash the egg residue off. That's, that's a good so business gross. model for him. He should do a YouTube video of that. Look at my company. so good at cleaning. Here's yeah. your tennis court. Here's yeah. your tennis court on heat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you know, we have listeners everywhere. And one of our texters lives in Manhattan, listens to the Rill and Ryan show, mm. and just texted, what is Ryan talking about? I live in Manhattan. We talk about the mom and pops are gone. No, I'm, I didn't say they're going. A lot of them have gone by the wayside. Like, I know during the pandemic, a lot of them had to shut down. Like, I love Carnegie Deli. I went there for years, and that that was my favorite. And they, Most expensive they sandwich of, I've ever paid for in my life. Yeah, but that was so good. Sandwiches. Why do people have to ruin fun? I to ban Good old charcoal. Well, mm. I think that this is maybe sure, like a, an environment might just be. <laughs> a mention, right, Eric? This is not this. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about the New York pizza oven ban, or apparently they're trying to do that for the environment. The but Department is this like just somebody introduced this? I think they're or bringing does it up. Have any reality of actually happening? Uh, I, I mean, it, it could happen, but I don't, it hasn't happened yet. They're bringing it up right now. And this guy, time. Boston Pizza Party, Tea Party. New Believe me, York the mayor or whoever the, the <laughs> didn't politicians. He did prepared very well. Yeah. <laughs> the Boston, Boston Pizza Party. Oh, the, the, the New York Pizza Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. And by the way, Magnolia Nick uh, preach. Magnolia Nick on text said, Growing up, I left crayons on the dash of the car and they melted everywhere. In, having three children, melted crayons in the doors all the time. Uh. Watch the crayons, parents. If you've got crayons in your car, because I would always keep a Ziploc in my car, so if we went to restaurants to keep them entertained, I had my own crayons and my own little thing for them to draw on, melted I'm gonna crayons. I'm going to try cheese sticks, since Sam loves cheese sticks. We'll oh, put yeah. those on your car. Yes. Mozzarella. That'll yes. be down. And they're contained, so we'll make a mess. Time for the Rule and Ryan show on KRBE to tell you what's going down. 
in H Town. It's brought to you by Duncan. Like I, I lost said, her at cheese sticks. Excessive heat uh, warning in effect until 9 p.m. It looks like a high of 102. Heat index should feel like 110 degrees. It's going to be hot again today. Here's the temperature of cooking eggs. Let me see. It's 110 degrees. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you could <laughs> slow like cook that. just about anything. Yeah. An 18-year-old Pasadena Taco Bell employee has been arrested after allegedly pulling a gun on a customer in the drive-thru after the customer decided to cancel his order. This is according to the Pasadena Police Department. Brian Alexander uh, Carranza, who according to court records is a shift lead at Taco Bell, he's charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and unlawful carrying of a weapon. He's being held on $20,000 bond. Prosecutors have asked his bond to be set at $40,000. So in other words, the guy cancels his order at the drive-thru and he's so mad, he pulls a gun on him. Why would you be so mad? Like, Sorry, just go to the next guess. person. Because this is where we are That's in life, scary. guys. I can see the other scary. way around. You know, you see that where, I've been waiting for my order. You screwed it up. Here's put my gun out. It's stupid, too. But I'll tell you, they do not like it when you're trying to order food 10 minutes before they close. I tried to do that the other day, and I don't. That's risky. They were not happy. Uh, yeah, look at Ahmad. He's like, I work there. He's yeah, like, he's shaking his head. <laughs> so I'm ingesting spit. Is that, I is that know, correct? Well, I, I, that. I, will say, I didn't say Taco Bell. It wasn't if there. They're like closing. I have seen, um, you know, people drop stuff on the floor and be like, oh, well, we're about to close anyway. And they put it in the bag. Stop Ugh. it. It didn't happen in the Houston area. So y'all are safe. But yeah, don't, don't go to no restaurant 10 minutes before. My but friend, when you think I'm on the 10 minutes where they close, they go, oh, we got to clean out this image where I just dump it all in the bag and give them an extra taco. No, because they're already breaking down like an hour yeah. before they close. My okay. friend actually tried to go to Popeye's like 10 minutes before they close. We're out of chicken. Got <laughs> the worst food poisoning the next day. Couldn't even get up like her. Oh. They did something. But the food, food poisoning wouldn't well, have come because it, it was all the way. 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe they, get cooked mm, uh, maybe they flash, fr- they More, flash fried too yeah. fast. Well, your friend drank a lot and got... Yeah, it's more like beer poisoning. Don't go nowhere 10 minutes. No, probably not. This is for uh, all the teachers out there. Houston Independent School District acknowledged yesterday they accidentally sent out uh, termination messages to some of their employees that weren't terminated. They blamed it on system failures. A district official said the employees who received the messages still had the same employment status with the district as they had before the messages were sent. They also notified, uh, they tried to notify these people that there was an error. But seriously, you're getting a message, I've been fired? And it was a glitch in the computer system? The district said it's working to fix the issue to make sure it doesn't happen again. Can, so can, next time you do get fired, you won't believe it. You're right. You're like, are you sure this is real? Like, oh, no, it's real this time. That's a glitch. Uh, just real quick, I want to make a mention, because I've had a lot of people send this to me on my social media. There was a dad missing from the Westview area. His name is Brett Dedimore, 38 years old, father of three. Everyone's like, where's, where's Brett? Where's Brett? Where's Brett? As of this morning... Brett was found alive, according to Alan Rosen, who's been on our show before. Yep. He sent out a message saying that uh, he is alive and at the hospital for evaluation. Ooh, that's great. The family thanks everyone uh, for their their effort to help find Brett. It was a very weird story where his truck was found burned some like 20 miles from where he lives. Well, how and frightening. Everyone was trying to track what happened to Brett, what happened to Brett. So as far as this morning, if you've seen that on your feeds, your local feeds, Brett has been found. And they say that... Um, they just thank you for all the efforts. And I guess some we'll find some information of what information, happened. Information, though. Where yeah. has he been since he went missing on June 21st? Here we are. He's alive, though. That's he good. is alive. So the family is very thankful for that. Coming up next, revenge. Maybe somebody messed with you. You got him back. And they don't know you got him back. You got your payback. Let's hear what it's all about next on The Rule and Ryan Show.